Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a sort of a tutorial video, really. So, I uh, this is Starbound, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. Uh, Starbound is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and it's also a, a game that I have had on and off, uh, an on and off, like, love of over the years. Um, we, uh, me and my friends used to play this game a fair, a fair amount. Um, and, uh, just suffice to say, it's, uh, it's a game that I have learned stuff and unlearned stuff and learned stuff with all the new updates. And not too long ago, they released an update that would allow you to use a mech in this game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip the intro mission, since I've done that a million and one times. Um, but basically this is a game a lot like Terraria or a 2D version of Minecraft uh, in the future. Um, we explore the universe, we collect resources, we craft stuff, you know, all that good things. And right now I'm just about to make a new character because I wanted to show you guys how to get a extremely large amount of money uh, pretty early on, like a fairly easy way to make money early on in the game because money is probably something you're going to need more than most things in Starbound. And I think we're going to make a Florian. I have never made a Florian character, ironically. It's the one character type I've never made. So I think we'll do that. I don't. I honestly don't know which, which of these is male, which is female. Okay, so that must be female. Because look at how it tights in the, the, the uh, gut, if you will. <laughs> so we'll make a male. Uh, let's see. i got to find it. Oh, okay, some of these are kind of cool. I'm not really sure what type of a character to make. I've literally never made a Florian. They're pretty cool looking. Hmm. <laughs> some of these are funny. Oh man, there's some cool, some cool, like, I love the randomize button in this game, because there's like, there's so many different variants of everything. Uh, that, that looks like me. Yep. Big hair. Lots of, of, like, hair everywhere. That works. Okay, we're gonna go with a a name fitting, so we're gonna name ourselves uh, LP. Well, not LP. We'll we'll call him uh, Tutor Joe. Tutor Joe. Also, we are going to normally I would play on casual because I'm laid back, but because I want to prove that this is a strategy that can work in any mode. I am going to play on survival, which is going to be a lot harder, because if unless I'm mistaken, survival is you need to eat to survive. Yeah, drop items on death. Oh gosh, this is going to be hard. Um, let's see, there should be a personality. Yeah, personality one. What are our different ones? Let's let's just go with the straight the straight arms thing. That's more like me. And here we go. I have never ever made. You can see some of my other characters there. I've never made a uh, a. Uh, a Florian, so this is gonna be cool. I don't even know what their ships are. Oh, their ships are weird. What the? Oh, they get a pet snake? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, so. Okay, we can't use that. We have to reboot the system, right? Hello, pet. Reboot. I am Sail, your ship's based artificial intelligence lattice. I manage to maintain um, and maintenance of your. your Whatever. I am also programmed to offer you information. Uh, Earth was attacked by an idol force that was subsequently annihilated. Subsequently. Uh, ship's navigation systems were damaged and escaped. Our location is currently unknown. Okay. <coughs> we are <coughs> currently orbit. Sorry, guys. My voice is all effed up. <coughs> uh, we are currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are una uh, unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. So we have our first quest. We start out with a sword, a basic sword. It's your trainee sword, which we already have equipped there. Um, I don't think we get anything else. We have a hunger bar now, which is cool. I'm glad that they have that. And then here we've got some actual food. So let's bring a couple of those with us and a flashlight and the torches. And yeah, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I've only played on a survival-based character, like, twice, really, in Starbound, because I usually just find it more tedium than anything else. Oh, good, that's a good start, though. We already have some plants near us that we can har harvest. 
Discovered some seeds. Okay, and we also have our matter manipulator, because that goes everywhere with us. So for when you're starting out, you basically just want to follow the main storyline until you get to the point where you have access to a couple things. You have found some wood. My data bags tell me that wood is a material of great many uses. I suggest you kill additional trees and explore <laughs> crafting many. This is a pretty self-aware game. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the guys at Chucklefish, they really know what they're doing when they make games. Um, but, uh, yeah, so when you when you first start out, I highly recommend just following the main quests and that until you get to the point where you have access to um, a, like, a radiation EPP, a... Discovered coal, you can turn coal into torches. Yeah, these are these are all like tips and stuff he's going to give us. Um, until you get a radiation EPP, which means you'll be able to visit planets with radiation on them. A uh, cooking uh, counter, which is a cooking station. Uh, and a barren planet. And a uh, and um, access to a mutant planet. Those four things are super necessary. You also want to be able to get the Terra uh, uh, shipping container. Terramart shipping container, uh, and that that all comes into play later. But with all those things, you should be pretty much set to make a ridiculous amount of money in this game, as you will see shortly. So we're just gonna farm a bunch of stuff because we need a little bit of everything. So anything we can find is gonna be useful, coal included. We can use that to make more torches. And it's about to be day, which means some animals will be coming. Out. Oh, look, more food. Now food goes bad in this game, as you will see if I click on here. Our food bar. We've got we've got potato seeds and we've got potatoes. The food, extremely well preserved. So these will go bad eventually, but not right away. And these ones should stay fresh for a while. Pearl peas. We want to get a little bit of everything. We also want to explore, but we don't want to go too too far. Like there's some stuff over here that we could use, namely these uh, these plant fibers down here. You might be able to see them. These things. Now the question is, is it safe to go down here? We don't have anything that will protect us if we fall a great distance right now. Well, like that, for example. We just took a, some serious damage, which is less than ideal. But it was worth it for the plant fibers, because plant fibers, they're not like super valuable, but yeah, early on you can use them to make some really great stuff. So if we hit C, we bring up our crafting menu, and we can make these things called ropes. And we can use these to get up from places like this that we're in. I do believe I have. There we go. There's a rope right there. So let's equip this. So there's some copper ore over there. So I can right click to use my climbing rope. And that will allow me to fall down into these places and like slowly drop down as opposed to like falling to my death. Now there are enemies, so we have to be careful. But what can do here smash that pixel. Oh shoot, I just fell. Now, I'm not perfect at this game, as you can probably tell. I uh, still mess up on occasion. There we go, there's our climbing ropes gone. So, this is why you want to make sure you always have a good chunk of plant fibers with you. We're pretty weak at the beginning. We're going to die fairly easily. We need to eat, like, pretty frequently, all things considered. Alright. Okay, what do we got here? Anything? Plant fibers, good. Okay, eh. 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 so we're just going to try and gather up as many resources as we can, as you can probably tell. I see some copper right here in the back row, and that's another thing, you can mine out the back section of like the caves and stuff, which is useful. I see some iron ore here, too. That's always nice. It's always refreshing for me to start out a new character in this game, because although it is uh, kind of tedious to not have access to all the stuff you have, I have access to on my uh, more like higher level characters, it is, however, pretty nice to be able to like re-experience all those like firsts again. It's like, oh boy, I just got you know uh, my first bit of titanium ore or something like that. It's like, whoa, this is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so there's more copper there. We do want to get some dirt too, because we're going to need it for what's coming. But we're going to first grab all this ore that we can. The more ore we can get, the better, because we can turn that stuff into uh, 
tools for, uh, or not tools, but weapons and armor, which we are going to do here eventually. We're going to need a lot of iron for making armor, though. That's the main thing. Man, I heard our matter manipulator is so slow now. I forgot how slow it becomes. Is there archaic energy source on this planet worth investigating? Yep. So he's just telling us we need to go to the core's planet, uh, like the, 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 uh, well we have to explore the surface of the planet to find a warp gate, basically. And then we have to go to the core of the planet to get, uh, these things called, uh, oh shoot, uh, core fragments. And with those core fragments, we can activate that warp gate and then go to this other place called, uh, the outpost. And in the outpost we can get some good stuff. So, let's make another rope, because we're going to need one. Once again, we're going to re-equip it. Oh, that's less than ideal, but there we go. We made it up anyway. Cool. May as well grab some more wood, too. We're going to need that. We should probably eat something, so let's do that as well. These are going to go bad the earliest, I think, so we will eat one of those. Apparently, uh, it didn't count towards our food meter? I thought it did. Huh, it doesn't give you any hunger back? That's weird. Maybe you have to prepare food. Like I said, I don't play on um, survival very often. Come on, break that tree. There we go. Not gonna worry about the, any wood that we missed there. Okay, what's over here to the left? Anything exciting? So there, we just learned how to make plant matter. I think we just use these things to craft it? I'm not sure, maybe. Let's see, can we craft plant matter from that? Uh, right, we need a inventor's table to be able to do that. Whoopsie. And there's something up there. I'm just not sure if we can get up there without a rope. And when you use a rope, it consumes it, so... Let's see here. Uh, let's destroy this. <laughs> Anything exciting up here? Sometimes there's some good stuff at the tops of these rooms, but not very often. Looks like there's none this time. Cut down some more of these trees. If you put your uh, matter manipulator in between two trees, you can cut two down at the same time, usually. So, the speed gives you a bit more of speedy, uh, speedy access to lumber. So we got ourselves a grave here. And if you look below the grave here, you might be able to tell if I bring up my matter manipulator, there's a chest down there. This is something else you could usually do in the game. First, we're going to scan everything, because it allows us to do something with it later. For now, we're going to dig away all this dirt, because we're going to need it. We're going to open this chest, and there's some healing items in there, which is nice. And we'll grab the chest, too, because we need a chest. Alright, let's keep going. I hear a monster. I don't know where it is, but I hear one. Oh, and we found ourselves first chest with some loot in it. So we got some pixels, which are basically money. There's a monster right there, so let's fight him first. Come on, you big jerk. Okay, cool. And there's a potato there, which we can harvest later. And there's an uh, upgrade module, which you can use to upgrade your ship. And there is a axe. And I think that is our first real weapon. It's a one-handed axe. Cool. So we have a weapon now, guys. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. I want that in the first slot. There we go. Cool. And we're going to take this chest, too. I usually always pick up the chest so I don't mis like mistakenly find them again later and think I haven't opened them. Ow. So we're still going to be taking some dumb damage, probably, because I'm not good at fighting in this game, but, you know, whatever. Plus, grabbing the chest will give us storage for our ship. Oh, right. We only have the one jump. Shoot. Okay. Uh... Um, we are gonna use this as a stepping stool to help us get out of here. Oh boy, look at that. We've got an enemy here. This is kind of a tougher enemy, but now that we knocked it away, we don't have to worry so much. Grab more plant fibers, because like I said, those are super, super useful. Cool. There's some stuff over there, some iron ore, copper ore, and a capsule. Capsules can hold all kinds of different things. So that's why you usually want to break them open whenever possible. That guy's dead. Let's 
get this iron ore, because iron ore is going to be useful. Might be saying, well, Nux, why aren't you doing any crafting? You've got, like, the ability to make an inventor's table. Well, we want to do that stuff on our ship, because our ship is the place we're going to be coming back to constantly. So it's basically like our main base. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, so, we want to make sure to do most of the crafting of that on that ship. It's where we'll have a lot of our downtime, so... For now, we're just going to gather raw resources and that, and hope that I don't get killed. <laughs> Resources like dirt and seeds and stuff. Lumber. Which we could be replacing all this lumber. We could be, we're getting saplings every time we cut down these trees, but I'm kind of thinking about leaving them be for now. Using them later. Okay, so there's some more coal here. There's also a sleeping bag over here I, did, I just didn't even mention. You can sleep in this game and it helps restore health. So you can see our health will slowly go up. There's also a campfire, and campfires are something you can cook at. So as you see, we can make baked potatoes now. So we'll cook both of our potatoes, and eat those, or eat one of those, so our hunger goes back up. Bam, that put our hunger up a good amount. There we go. If we eat the other one, completely refilled. So now that we have a full stomach, we will regenerate our health naturally, as well as from sleeping in a bed, we regenerate it naturally, so that she'll speed up our health regeneration. We're also going to take both of these with us. Because, with the matter manipulator, we can pick these things up. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Mr. Computer. So there's these little plants here that we can get harvest to get like petals from. Oh, that looks dangerous. This is our first our first big mob. These guys can be pretty dangerous. They can kill you as well, so we don't want that to happen. We don't want to lose anything. We've got a chair here, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab these fences behind us, because you never know. It might be useful for something later on. Usually, if you see something you're not sure about, I usually would just take it. <laughs> you know, I'm in most places, anyway. Because you're going to want to get access to as many resources at the start as you can. Like, look here, we got some corn we can take. More wheat. I always grab wheat, because wheat's super useful. Ooh, what is this? I'm not going to take those, because I have a feeling we're approaching a town. Oh, look at that. We found cotton. Cotton's useful. Oh, shoot. Another larger monster. The larger ones come out at night, just so you know. Oh shoot. Oh come on, that should have killed him. Oh jeepers. Whew. Like I said, I'm not very good at fighting in Starbound. Whew. Okay, too close. I prefer having like a better weapon than this. Oh good, look, we found the, ener uh, the uh, archaic energy source. One second, guys. Okay, so... Basically he's telling us, now you have to dig to the core of the planet to get core fragments. Lucky you. Which is gonna suck. How that hurt. Let's head back up to our ship. So let's see here. Now that we're up here, let's start building stuff. We're gonna craft ourselves a inventor's table, which means we need timber. Let's make a few of those. Inventor's table. Unfortunately, the making crafting stations tend to takes time, which can be a pain. Okay. And with that, we can make a foraging table and a wooden workbench. We want the foraging table and the wooden workbench, so we will make both. Oh, excuse me. And we 
we're going to go ahead and make the wooden workbench, which requires timber, which we can do, I do believe. Yeah, there we go. And then a spinning wheel, which just requires a lot more timber, once again. <laughs> going to be useful too for making all kinds of different stuff. I'm going to make all these crafting stations and they'll all be handy at some point. And an anvil is going to require iron bars, which means we'll need a furnace, which means we'll need mud. We have chests now, so we can slap those down. pet's kind of getting in the way, as usual. That's usually what the pets do in this game. They're kind of annoying. Most people lock them up, actually. <laughs> okay, so we've got some storage, so there's that. Oh, uh, we're over here, and we're going to store some stuff. Namely, our furniture, whatever furniture we may have. Probably keep the bed out. Well, maybe not. Well, let's put down this wooden crafting table, too. Um, if we can find a spot for it. That'll work. So now we can make furniture like beds and chests and different types of uh, blocks. Alright, so speaking of what do we have? Hmm. One second guys, I'll be right back. Sorry again, guys. Had to step out of the room for a minute. Okay, um, let's see here. Might as well store those too. What else? We can store the dirt, fences, stone. Left one thing. These things, because we don't really need them on us right now. Uh, we'll keep the coal on us and the plant fibers. We'll store our seeds in one of these chests. Probably not this one. Probably this one. So you want to keep your seeds too, because they're super, super, super useful later. We've got food on us too, which is going to be nice. Let's plant down this campfire. Campfires are pretty easy to make. Ah, we can make pearl pea, boiled pearl peas, and popcorn. Let's do it. couple boiled pearl peas. Sweet. We also learned how to make pearl pea broth. I'm not really sure what that does, but we need a better cooking station to make it. Alright, so we need mud, and what else do we need? We need mud, and we need 8 iron, which is a total of 16 iron ore, which we are nowhere near. So let's beam back down, because now we have a machine. This may be a long video, but it is just because the very beginning can be kind of slow. Okay, so we're going to be a little careful here. That's probably far enough down for this one. Just trying to make myself kind of a path to get back up if I need it in the future. I thought I saw something. No. Some more plant fibers here we could use. Also gonna go ahead and craft a few more ropes, like maybe... Well, not that many. <laughs> we'll do like, uh, 20 ropes. Okay, and 
then I think we have some salves we can use somewhere here. Yeah, we do. We're going to equip those suckers with our flashlight, and we're going to make a couple more, which also they just take play fibers. Wait, basically, these allow you to re heal really, really slowly. And we're going to make 17 of these. Sorry, guys, had to adjust my mic there. My headset's about to die, unfortunately. I use it a lot, so... Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to fall down there. Dang it. Well, that's less than ideal. Well, there's some mud. This is mud right here. At least we have enough now to make a furnace, should we need. Well, well we will need it, but I mean, should we need it in the immediate, immediate future? Um... Sounds like there's mobs below me, which is going to be a pain. Actually, you know what, I should, instead of putting the cells in that slot, I should put them over here. I should put the climbing ropes in that slot. And then I should use a salve, try and heal myself a bit, eat this popcorn. Alright. We're going to grappling hook that. Is there anything else around that we need to be scared of? There's definitely mobs. Ooh, there's some tough mobs, too. I don't like that. So we're going to want to be careful. We may even want to go back up to the surface now that we've seen those. Uh, and, uh, and basically get ourselves some, uh, some, uh, long-ranged weapons. Namely, hunting spears, because they are pretty easy to get, and they're relatively decent. So we'll do that, and we'll beam back up to the surface in a second. I need to grappling hook my way up here. Hopefully that's far enough. Okay, good. Cool. Grappling hooking stuff can be kind of tedious in this game, unfortunately. Just the way that it's built and all that. There we go. We're just going to drop these torches around because at night time, if we decide to come back here, we won't be able to see if we don't... Ah, gosh, dang it. Oh, it sounds like one of my favorite mobs is around. There's this monster that kind of sings as she walks around. I really like her. She uses it as a trap to try and lure you in to kill you. That one there, the pop top. But she's kind of my favorite monster in, in Terraria. Or, I mean, not in Starbound. I just think, even though she's using it to try and kill you, she's still adorable. Okay, you big jerk, come and get me. Yeah, that's it. Aha! That's it, get stuck, jerk. <laughs> Ow. Trying to use strategy here. Oh, shoot. Ah, dang it. There they are. Now, these guys could jump pretty far. Ah, come on. Get over here, then. If you're gonna. Okay, it's one down. The other ones will probably make it out of there eventually, but... There's the pop top. Ow. That hurt. I trap trapped me! Pop tops are pretty tough, all things considered. But, they are beatable. Okay, point in case. Alright, whew. This is gonna be tricky. Let's beam back up. Now that we're safe. Alright, just getting a drink there. Okay, so. Now, we want to make some spears. So this is your foraging table. This is where you make a lot of different tools. Here we go with hunting spears. We can make wooden hunting spears. Or we can make a hunting bow. Or tungsten hunting bow. What have you. All of them are good in different ways. But I kind of like the spears the most. Because they're cheap and they're effective. So let's do... Hmm. Four. Because each, each one of these four will make us... Actually, no. Let, let's play it safe. We'll do ten. And this will do us, I believe... Oh, we can't make ten. Fine. We'll, we'll just do four then. This will make us twenty hunting spears. That we can use for those moments where we have to go long range with enemies. So let's go ahead and equip that. Uh, we will equip it to there. I didn't even realize that was a, a one-hander. Interesting. I thought the hunting spear was two-hand. Handy 
that. Alright. Let's go back down here. Down the path we already know is safe. Or safer, anyway. Go up and through here and try to get back to that chest we saw down below earlier. Oh, wow. I gotta stop doing that. That's it. We need to heal. So let's do that real quick. Okay, see, there's an enemy right there. I should probably eat something to maybe make us heal a little faster. And probably want to grab one of these. Alright. So now, yeah, these guys hit hard. They're one of my least favorite enemies to fight because they do hit pretty hard. Oh shoot, that was a misclick. But the hunting spears can be pretty good, as you can see. Plus, they give you a chance for the mobs to drop, or there's a chance that the mobs will drop uh, their rarer drops if you kill them with the hunting spear. And in here we find more iron ore, sweet, and some gold ore. Ooh, and a two-handed hammer. Well, that's a new weapon for us. And pixels and a matter manipulator module. With that, we can upgrade our matter manipulator. Not like right away, because I think it requires a lot more than one. Let's see, it requires, yeah, like 12, 3, 6, and 8 for all the upgrades that we have access to right now. Um, so, yeah, we have, have a new hammer. It's slow, but it should have a second ability, I do believe. Um, hmm. Thought there was a second ability. Oh, okay, so it's something like jumping on top of enemies, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. I've never had a hammer with that ability before. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay, so it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> oh, look, we found silver, I think. All resources are useful at the beginning, so... Let's go ahead and craft ourselves some more uh, torches since we're going to need a bunch of those. You make, every one you make gives you four, so let's just craft, 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 craft. There we go. Bunch more torches. Oh, oh, almost fell to my death. Okay, cool. So it looks like there's a bunch of ore in this area, which is good. Not that we need the ore right this moment, but we will need it eventually for armor and stuff. Okay, so getting up there is going to be a bit tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you there, you horrible monsters. I also don't care that you're there, so... Ah, there we go. Okay. Ugh. So we'll dig down here and we'll get this copper. This copper is going to be useful. We're hopefully making us some armor. As well as any number of other uh, tools. And crafting stations. And obviously we want the coal because we want to make more torches. We're going to need to pick more lumber up too. There's a lot of stuff we'll need for the beginning part. I'm not going to rush into the, uh, the tutorial part of this, but I guess we could consider this a partial let's play for now anyway. It's uh, let's play until I can get to the tutorial side of it. Oh gosh, jeepers, you see what I mean? How dumb I could be? Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's just get up here. What is up here? Big open areas like this are dangerous because mobs can drop right down on top of you. Ooh, hello. I should really equip my throwing spears to the same one as my healing item. That is not right at all. So we'll heal there. Okay, let's be careful here. Ooh, we've got iron there. We do need iron. Uh, let's place the torch. Okay, good. I can see now. Okay, be prepared. This guy's gonna attack me the moment he sees me. Okay, I hit him there. That's good. What you gonna do, pal? You gonna do nothing. Oh, that should've hit him. It went through him. Oh, we got him there. And that's the important part. So, we've got a bunch of iron there that I so desperately want. iron we can get, the faster, or fa more, uh, the faster we can get the iron, the faster we can get our anvil up, the faster we can get our armor up, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Um, so let's see. What do we got around here? Oh shoot, uh, where's my spear? Uh, 
<laughs> that is a misclick. Woo! Jeepers. Okay, cool. So this mob dropped one of his... Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I just... I just ate before this. <laughs> uh, uh, but... Basically, he dropped a uh, piece of meat that we can use to cook and make food. Ooh, more iron. I love early on when this stuff is actually useful. I don't know how long I'll play, uh, or how long I'll, uh, I'll do this tutorial for. If people have questions and stuff of things that they want to know how to do in Starbound, feel free to ask, and if I know how, I will show you in a video. I'm not exactly great at the game, but I have gotten pretty freaking far. I've technically beaten it, so... <laughs> Okay, so we've got some iron there, but I also don't know what else is down there. Okay, it's safe to mine that. Okay. I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if there was maybe a long drop down there that would have gotten us killed. But it doesn't look like it, thankfully. Ooh, more plant fibers. Yes, please. Ooh, what do we got? Okay, oh, that is a long drop, I think. Let's see what else is down here. Okay. Alright, cool. There's some iron there that I wouldn't mind getting. Let's see what else there is. Anything? Anything? Oh, there's a lag spike. Wow. Never had lag in, in Starbound before. So that's interesting. There's iron up there. I wouldn't mind getting. But, let's grab this iron first. Since it's right here. I'm trying to decide if we should go back to the ship and get some stuff going with the anvil right now or wait to do it until after. We're gonna need some food soon, so I may have to do it like now, but we'll see. Alright, uh... Just get up here. Oh, I see capsules. Capsules means pixels, possibly. As well as, well as other things. Okay. Okay. Cool. Lots of pixels. Means lots of monies means we'll be able to buy stuff later on if we find any merchants, which you can find. There's lots of merchants in this game. Okay, there's nothing really... Oh, there's something over there. We may get lucky and find something cool, like a ruin, which we may have found. We'll see them. Eh, 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 so slow. Okay, what do we got over here? Hmm, so this is interesting. Yeah, I'm not going down there that enemy, but we can see what else is around anyway. Hmm. Feels like there should be something in behind here, but uh, I can't really tell. Yeah, it seems like there should be something down here, but hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's just mine some of this out and see. So slow. <laughs> now we learned how to craft temple blocks and tomb blocks, bricks, because this is uh, the remains, if you're wondering, of an old avian temple. That's what these blocks are supposed to be. Sorry if it's dark, guys, it's just the nature of things in this game. A lot of times it will be very dark and hard to see. It's doubly bad for me because I can't see nothing when it comes to dark colors. <laughs> oh well. As I think I've explained before, with my weird color blindness stuff. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's too much else in there. Damn. I was hoping for something good. Oh well. Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, but there's also a mob somewhere. Oh, hello, mob. Okay. be able to hit me there. Let's see what else there is. Where we go down there? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where is he? Hmm. Let's place a torch so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so we've got our weapon here. We might want to try this sucker out, too. Let's see what you got, punk. Oh, -ho, yeah, that just wrecked him. Okay, cool. Drop another torch, and we're going to look in this. Oh look, another weapon. Another two-handed hammer. 
13 damage, is that better than what we have? No, it's not. But it does a shockwave. Is that what ours does? A ground slam is what ours does. Hmm. Let's try it out. Won't hurt to try it. Oh, okay, so that's that's the one I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. I think I kind of like the ground or the uh, the ground slam a bit more, actually. But we can we can equip the shockwave as our backup. Okay, so let's see what else is here. Looks like we've got some water down here. We're gonna have to be careful because we do need to be able to breathe. But we can smash these pixels anyway. Some healing salves and stuff. Ooh, looks like there's some iron there that I wouldn't mind getting. We can't pick this water up yet, but what we can do is mine out the background and hope that causes this stuff to peter out, but it doesn't look like it. So, never mind then, we'll just float and mine stuff. I didn't even think you could do that. Apparently, you can, which is a good thing for us. Okay, sorry this is taking so long, guys, but it does take a while at the beginning. It's just the only issue with this game. Things can take a while. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so, let's get over here into the sand. The problem with the loose silt is that whenever you mine it out, it all drops, oh, like that. <laughs> and that can be dangerous if you're not careful. Oh boy. Yeah, we're way down deep now. I just hope we don't die. Oh look, there's some iron bits in here. Let's, uh, let's drop a torch so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Okay, some iron right below me too. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, okay, alright. This is a little dangerous. Let's just uh, drop down with a rope instead. And that is why you do that. Oh, what the heck is that? There's a mushroom biome here, apparently. Oh, that's not good. Ow, okay, that hurt. You jerks. Let's see if we can scoot in there. Oh, close enough. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Alright, so yeah, those big mushrooms means there's a mushroom bite. Everybody. Our feeling is due to hunger. Okay, so we need to eat something, I guess. Thankfully, we still had a pearl pea thing. We need to cook some more stuff, which means we need to make a campfire, probably. Which is, I don't want to. And where's my campfire? Campfire! Campfire! There we go. Cook some more pearl peas, why not? Now we're going to cook this steak, because st uh, raw meat doesn't last for very long. Bam. Okay, so just like that, we've got food again, and we are going to use that cooked steak. It should give us some hunger back, thankfully. Anything over there? Some, like, cobbles weird cobblestone and stuff. Looks like that might be it there. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, hello, mobs. <laughs> i got to be careful. Wow, this is going pretty far down. Like, can you imagine if we had fallen down here? This would have been... That would have been it for us. And this is why climbing ropes are super useful early game. Oh, hello, enemies. Yeah, we're not going to mess with those right now. Okay. Let's, uh... Ow, I didn't mean to do that. Apparently we are going to mess with them early. We just got poisoned, which is less than I do. Quickly pop our healing salve. Okay. So, this is less than ideal. We need to be able to see. Which means we need more torches, so let's go ahead and make a couple. We make like four, which should make us like 16 ish. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I don't see them, but whatever. There's some mobs, right there. Okay, let's go quickly. He had a... Kill these guys as fast as is humanly possible. Or, I guess, Florianly possible. Which we just did, that's good. Not sure why... Or what good it would be to mine out these roots, but I'm still gonna do it out of curiosity. Okay, so... What do we got here? Anything else? 
ways down. Look at that. Never seen a background like that before. That's interesting. Oh dear. Oh no. I recognize those enemies. We must be coming near a flesh cave. Ooh, I hate those enemies. Okay. You know, I looked everywhere for a flesh cave uh, on one of my files. I couldn't find it anywhere. Look at that guy. Look at him. That guy's uh, using his bubbles to try and kill us. Interesting. I hate killing these guys because they're adorable. Oh well. Yeah, apparently they drop water too. Interesting. Okay. Murder him. Got him. Okay, got him twice. Cool. And that's good. Okay. Oof, okay, we need to get some light in here so we can see. Yeah, it's a flesh cave. We're coming into. Oh gosh. Uh. Smash him. Smash him. Ah, sugar and sugar and spice and spice. Sugar and spice and sugar and spice. Oh, it's too close. Oh gosh, those guys are dangerous early game. Okay. Holy cow. It is a flesh cave. Oh, look at that. A pus plum seed and a pus plum. That is what I've been looking for in my other file for like a hundred million years. Couldn't find it anywhere. Because I couldn't find these flesh caves. Look at what I find ten seconds into my uh, tutorial video. Go figure, right? What a kick in the... you know. Oh, well, let's get all this iron. This is going to help a lot. Places are notoriously creepy too. The torchlight doesn't help matters. Okay. What's over here? Anything else? Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Oh dear. Oh, this is less than ideal. Okay, you can't get up here, can you? No. Okay, good. Let's just go ahead and heal while we have a second. Okay. Because you can't make it through there, I'm going to take advantage of this to murder you. Okay, cool. Ow, that hurt. Cool. I crunched him good. This <laughs> is... Oh dear. Woo! Good. Oh, sugar. Sugar and spice. Oh gosh, dang it, you guys are so annoying! How you keep attacking me when I'm busy! <laughs> okay. I'm just seeing what else there is here. Look at that, another puzzle plum. Go figure. Or a plum seed. Those, that's exactly what I was looking like everywhere for in my other file. Like, you don't understand. I was looking freaking everywhere, and now I've got like a hundred zillion of the damn things. Ah, it's infuriating. It is infuriating, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we can mine all this stuff out later. Oh, hello. That's less than ideal. And that's the last of my... I dig spears, so... Oh, jeepers. Just die. Okay, we need to get out of here. Uh, can't beam out yet. Okay, so we need to make a bunch more climbing ropes. Probably a good 20 more. So that we can get back out. It's going to be a bit of a tedious process to get out since we... Uh, Pretty far down. Well, I guess we could keep going. It's just we don't have much in the way of food. Oh, we have the pearl piece, I guess. We can eat that and I can make a fire. Cook up what I have here. Um, cooking stuff is kind of strange. Cooking food in this game. Got 
to cook up all the steak and eat some. Try and get our hunger back up. Cool. Cool. And I'd eat that if uh, it wasn't a waste. So I'll wait till our hunger drops a bit. And I've got to equip my ropes again. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so let's just be really careful here. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Really careful. Alright, so... Oh, hey! Animal ribs. Those are actually pretty decent for getting food back. Um, okay, cool. Need more torch. Need more torch. I hate flesh caves whenever I... Like, early game, because the enemies are so tough. Like, these guys are so tough. Uh, Stay away. You big jerk, where are you going? Yeah, that's right, you're not going nowhere, are you? Okay. So let's see. Let's drop another torch so I can see. Um, and another one. Oh, I'm out of torches now. Oh boy, okay. Let's just go ahead and make five more torches. Oh, there he is. He's waiting for me. There we go. Yeah, that's it. You guys die. Looks like we've almost made it to the core, though. Oh, crap. Whew. That's less than ideal. Okay. I need a heal. Heal right quick. Oh, it sounds like they may have murdered themselves on lava. Did they? Kind of sounds like... Yep, there's some lava there. Okay. There's also some gold here, which I'm going to grab. Man, getting out of here is going to be such a pain. Because <laughs> of how far down we are. We're just in a really bad spot. So this is where we want to use up a bunch of that junk that we gathered. Like the flesh crap and stuff. Just whatever. You know, whatever works. Uh, meat chunk things. Whatever we don't really need, because we're just trying to make ourselves a safe route. Cool. That works. Alright. Once again, we're just trying to go safely through here. As safe as we can, anyway. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that's what we need right there. That there is, uh, that's, uh, core fragments. So let's get over there and get to it. It's gonna take us a little while to mine our way in there since this is, uh, I believe, yeah, it's a harder version of cobblestone. So it'll take a little time to mine through. But, you know, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. I wish we had picked up some, like, mining tools, which, of course, we didn't. Eh, anyway. So be it, I guess. Just keep mining. I know we need like 30 or so fragments. How many fragments did we need? We need... Um, I think it's like 30 fragments-ish. So if we're very careful and very lucky, we can get them in this go. But we'll see. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of coal over there. Might as well grab it anyway. Could probably use it for torches. Mining I will go, a mining I will go. I just realized I have the music off. <laughs> Let's put the music back on, what do you say? Somewhere around there is good. Cool. Starbound has some pretty okay music. It can get repetitive after a while, but it's usually pretty good. There's also some diamonds here from what I can tell. I think that's what those blue spots are. Yep, diamonds. Sweet. So we'll get all these core fragments, and then we'll try to get the ones in the bottom right there that you might be able to see, like right here. So. And then we have to make the tedious trek to get out of here without dying, because we have a, uh... We are, I mean, we're on survival mode, which means that when we die, we drop everything. Which is gonna be tedium, but it's all right. Okay, all right, cool. Let's 
Slow and steady wins the race, they say. Cool. Alright, so, as you can see, this is more than a little dangerous, so we're just going to go ahead, grab some of our garbage blocks here, whatever that may be. We probably want the sand for crafting purposes, but the silt we can try and... I guess, apparently not fill in here. I was hoping to fill in this lava with the sand, but that's not going to happen, so let's use uh, this cobblestone. We can always get more cobblestone. Okay, alright. We're going to go ahead and just keep placing blocks diagonally down. i got to get rid of these, these spikes oh, so they don't kill me. Cool. Cool. All right, just block off the lava from us. <laughs> Give ourselves a relatively safe route back, hopefully. Now the boring part is going to be getting out of here, so we have to go all the way back up through the area we've already been. Use the core fragments, so we must have enough now. Um, one second here. Uh, how many do we have? 24, so it must be like 22 or 23 then. So I'm going to grab these ones since we're already here and we said we were going to, but after that we are going to head back. Just because uh, one thing that's good to keep in mind when it comes to Starbound is it's better to have have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Because that's the way this game works. <laughs> Anytime you see something new, you never know, you might need it down the road, so save at least one of it. Because you never know. Things have a tendency of acting that way or being that way. Up. Okay, cool. So we're almost done mining these core fragments. One more to go. Let's just seeing what that was. Alright. And then we can get out of here try to make our way back up to the surface, carefully mind you, but try to make our way back. Alright. Cool. Alright. Oh, 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 Nux, you crazy, crazy, crazy person. Okay, which one? I think it's up there where we want to go. Ah, sugar. This is less than ideal. Okay. Yeah, that works. Switch, switch back. Whoop, there we are. Oh gosh dang it, that spike though. <laughs> I just like brain myself with that giant spike. Okay, so there should be more of those monsters here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is this is why we need to be careful. Okay, good. We're not gonna bother mining any of this ore, we can come back for it later. When we are all set up with the main story dealt with, or the main first main quest dealt with anyway. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so just jump up there. Okay, cool. Oh, damn, that was not good. There's some iron here, though, so I'm gonna craft that. <laughs> At least our fall won't be a bean for nothing. I was gonna ignore that, but we fell on top of it, so let's heal. <laughs> and throw this and fly up here. Um. Jump over here. Gosh dang it, I'm not very good at this, am I? Okay, good, 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 good. Just float all the way up here. And we're just, to make it safer, we're just gonna mine this out. <laughs> just to be safe, and we're gonna mine that out. I'm glad that they just fell. Let's cook stuff if we can. Yeah, we can cook those ribs now. That should give us some hunger back and some health. So let's do that. Eat that right now. Bam! Yeah, that gives a lot of hunger back. Good. May as well eat that uh, steak now, too. Try and get our health back up. Okay, so we need to find our way out of here. And all those mobs are going to be back, for the most part. Ah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. I keep forgetting that you don't release the thing necessarily. Oh, it's back that way. Whoops. 
was down below after all. Alright. I'm gonna take the exact same route to get back that we brought or that we took to get down. Even though it's gonna require us to make a lot more climbing ropes, so be it. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lucky throw, guys. Did you see that? Wow. Oh, this guy's going to be dangerous. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's going to be in real danger. Okay. That's it. Come down here. There you go. Okay, well, lucky for me, he's leaving me alone. So does that. That was less than ideal. No, stop. Stop. Nux. Well, I mean, it kind of works. Oh, oh, saved it at the end. Oh, too close. Oh, oh. all right. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Oh, nope, didn't work. <laughs> Did not work. Who are these? So you might come across these things. They're basically like ore caches. So if we mine it, we get a little bit of whatever ore was in it. And in that case, it was copper ore. We got ten. Oh, I need to make more climbing ropes now. Let's craft another twenty. At fifty-four. Why? Why would I put that in? There you go, another 20. And we'll use that 20 to escape this horrible place. Well, hopefully not escaping our mortal coil. We could make some wooden platforms too, actually. In fact, that's probably a good idea, so let's make five of those, which should give us quite a bit. Yeah, 50. So, let's do that. That will make things much easier. Because with wooden platforms, you can jump through them, so you can just jump up. The problem with them is you need to have a spot to attach them to on the background, so sometimes it's not a great idea, usually. Or, I mean, it's it's not always a great idea, is what I mean. There we go. Ooh, this guy's gonna be an issue. You don't want to do this, man. Don't do this. Okay. Whew. No, 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 no. Now, now, none of that. Whew. Okay, yeah. Glad I placed those platforms now. I have this habit of, like, jumping back after I make a jump by accident. On instinct, really? Okay. How are we on plant fibers? Do we need more? Yeah, we could probably use some more. But that's a long way down, so nope, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, let's equip our climbing ropes. And hope that this works a little better this time. Yeah, that's it. Land somewhere up there. Yeah, boys! Nice. Can I make anything? No, I can't. That's alright then. <laughs> This way. I think that's not the right spot. I think it's someplace over here. Oh, come on, that should have hit it. Sometimes it glitches out and doesn't place the climbing rope, which drives me nuts, but. Gosh dang it, this is so annoying. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm lose everything. No! And that little bubble guy is just like adding insult to injury at this point. He's just like, hey, you can't kill me. You're not gonna kill me. And I can't, and I'm gonna kill you. Oh gosh, okay. You know what, where's my platforms? I'm just gonna use those. When in doubt, play it safe. Oh, I didn't even see that iron ore there. Check that out, there's some iron ore right behind me now. As well as some copper, I may as well grab the copper too since it's literally right next to it. Poof. There we go. Um, do that. Do that. So we have more. Now, not that, none of that is... No more BS with that is going to happen. Drop the platform right there, if at all possible. There we go. And there is a whole bunch of silver right here for the taking. Yeah, boys, let's grab that. been a while since I started over with Starbound, least of all while trying to do survival mode. Ugh, it's so difficult. Get up. Come on, just mine. Just mine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want it. I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. There, there we go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oops. That was a mistake. 
climbing ropes again. Yeah, beautiful, okay. Let's just keep this up. Yes, yes, okay. This is what I like, indeed. I think we came from there. Yeah, yeah, we did, okay. Oh, hello, little mouse, rodent, rat, person. Okay. Alright, so there's water down here. Did we come through this water spot? I don't think we did. I think we fell from way up there onto the silt. Which is gonna make this whole process a little harder to get out from, but that's alright. We just gotta... There we go. That's the way. <laughs> Shout out to all my HOTS players out there. Alright, uh, I think I did that joke in another video recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not a brilliant man, so I do repeat things. Oh! Oh, 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 heal, heal. Didn't see that guy there. He gonna be a problem. Okay. Let's see if we can't just sneak in here and smack him. <laughs> sneak in here and smack him. <laughs> ah, eat it. Okay. Cool. That it's just easier. Not really sure where up from here we're supposed to go. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing up there. So we it must have been a different route that we took or something. Uh, must have been over here. Oh gosh, too close. Oh, these guys, these guys are super dangerous. Oh shoot. Because they'll explode once they're low on health, low enough on health. Like that. Oh, okay. He dropped some leather though, so that's nice. That was nice of him, yes. It's a crafting regent, so. Nothing there, okay. So it must be over this way somewhere. Oh, there's iron there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys, sorry. Okay, what do we got? Um, okay, so it looks like there's some iron here, too. Yeah, there is right there. Hmm. I guess I can mine that. You guys will see why iron's so useful later. Oh, no, no, no. No! <clears throat> okay, I expected him to light me on fire there. That was close. This, this is why doing this stuff in the dark is so dangerous. Uh, speaking of, let's light this place up a bit. I do have the torches now. I may as well. Okay. Uh, climbing. No, no. Climbing rope. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there's our... our the beginnings of our path back. I think it's up there where we have to go, but let's just double check because there's torches going this way. Oh dear. Nope. Do not want. There we go. Okay. We're gonna need to make more. No, I guess it is up the other way. We're gonna need more. Make more climbing ropes, looks like. Can I make it across there? Oh, I can. And there's another one of those horrible monsters. Go away. Yes, yeah, it blow up away from me. You big jerk. Okay. Sounds like we're getting super close to the surface, which is nice. But then there's this jerk. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sugar, this is less than ideal. Smash him there. Let him come back out, and we're going to smash him again. Ow. Jerk! Dang, that hurts. Ah, right, we still have a couple hunting spears. I forgot. This is... That's useful info I should not have forgotten. Okay, let's see. What's over here? Anything? Maybe. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Oh no, it's another one of those monsters. Let's get out our hunting spear this time. Okay, he's dead. Drop some hardened carpus. Yep. Okay, we have one last hunting or er, uh, climbing uh, rope there, and now we should be pretty dang close to the exit. All right, so let's just toss this. There we go. Give ourselves a bit of vision. Use a bandage because bandages are almost instant heals. Um, I want to craft a couple more climbing ropes. We'll do like. Seven more, that should be enough to get us out of here. 
rounding up in that. Okay. It works really well, so I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You could just, I could just build my way up, but I prefer using climbing ropes. Oh! I don't know why I just do. Oh, that's less than ideal. Hi! Woo! That's it. Come on down here, you big jerk. What? You're not gonna come down? Yeah, that's it. I'm down here. Come get me. Ow. That hurt, but at least I'm not gonna get hit more than once now. Is there even a reason to come over here? Or... Hmm. Looks like I was supposed to come up this way, actually. Kinda looks like... Yeah, because this is our route right here. Okay. Oh, we made it back, guys. Look at that. We made it back out alive. We had to waste a lot of resources to do it, but we made it out. That's cool. Alright, so, now, let's go in here. What do we need for a primitive furnace? We need to make a campfire. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go ahead and do that. And then make our torch, or I mean our furnace. Okay. And then with that, slap that sucker down somewhere. Uh, um, do I have anything in here? No? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up, I think. Pet, get out of the way. Okay, um, furnace right there. Alrighty, now we can make the iron that we need, which, oh wow, we can make a bunch. We just need eight, though, so. Make eight. Cool. Damn it, Pat, you're in the way. Um, so now I just need the timber, which shouldn't be too bad. There's my anvil. There you go, guys. As long as you take your time, it's not super, super bad. Looks like our character could use some food, though, so let's see. Can we cook anything? We can cook some steak. Apparently we got a steak at some point there. So that'll give us a little hunger back. As the pus plums looking fresh. I always want to check check your food to make sure it's still good. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's slap that sucker down somewhere. I'm not really sure where. I guess we could uh, uh, build some platforms and put it on that, which is a viable option. Just a little bit awkward to set up, I think. I'm mistaken. Yeah, because then you have to kind of have your head through the ceiling. <laughs> there, now we can make weapons and shields, and there we go, our EPPs. So we want to make glass, living root, and tungsten. In order to make glass, I think we have to upgrade our... No, we can make it now. Uh, I don't know how much we need. I should probably go check that. The EPP is useful, trust me. Uh... And we need tungsten, which is going to be a pain to, to get. Ugh. Glass, living room, uh, ten glass, so nine more glass. Uh, I forgot that you need to get tungsten to be able to do that. I would have liked to have shown you guys exactly how to do this right away, but... <laughs> Smith. Huh. They need cotton or wool for everything. Ugh. Not a fan of that. Still. You can make bombs here. Never noticed that. Um, so yeah, I need... I got a living root somewhere. I'm going to put this glass in the chest over here. The right side here, I think. There we are. And I had another chest, didn't I? I think I did. This pet is really annoying me. Every ten seconds he's following me. I can't do anything. Because of it. There we go, jump up here. Throw all our ores in here so we don't lose them. And our crafting regions. Oh uh, wait, that's uh let's do this actually. We're gonna do this orga organized, so Copper, silver, iron, gold, and then diamond, and then weird crafting region-y things. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. So, we could 
probably put our last chest. I guess we have a couple. Oh, we can't put it on top of that? Oh, that would've been funny. Oh well. Um, hmm. I'll probably put another bit of uh, wooden platforms down later, for the, but for now we need to build. Uh, well, we need to go to the outpost first, so we gotta beam down to the planet and head to the left. Now that we have core fragments. We should have enough core fragments. Collect core fragments. I'm pretty sure we ha Oh, right, because I just put them in the chest. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Go away, pet. I'm busy right now, okay? Oh, it's a slug. It's not a snake after all. Stop bothering me, pet. <laughs> this is why people lock them away. Is they will not leave you alone for five minutes. <laughs> and they don't, like, do anything entertaining or... or cute, they just follow you around and stand in front of whatever you're trying to interact with, so you can't interact with it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little, a little insufferable. Just a little. So yeah, we need more lumber, so let's cut down some trees on the way. I wonder what a Florian would, would uh, how it would feel about cutting down a tree. I mean, they are plant people. I wonder if it considers it an act of murder. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But, one thing's for sure, we need to go... Need to go now to get to that uh, thing. I don't think we needed to get a uh, climbing rope to get through anywhere here, but we might Let's see. He's dead. We get some pixels out of it. Our character's gonna need some food soon, which sucks. Hello, how are you doing? How would you like to give me some food, pal? Sound good? Aw, oh, damn it. I guess it didn't sound good. Alright. I completely missed. With that shot pretty badly. Okay, so he got hit. Ah, oh, damn it. Dead. We got one throwing spear left. That's all of those. Get some smash in these guys now. Smashy. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Uh oh. Oh, he's not anim not aggressive. That's interesting. He has sharp teeth. That's weird. You would think, you know, he'd be aggressive. All right. Avoid the birds early on. They're pretty dangerous early. Lots of pearl peas, at least. Some iron. Shoot, it popped up. That's not good. Okay, we got her, though. Let's get over here. Activate that with the core fragments, and now we have a portal to the outpost. Yeah, go to the outpost. I'll get myself some more water while I wait for that, guys. I urgently require help. The universe depends on it. This is the ancient gateway. Meet me at the Ark Ruins, just pa past the outpost. Um... I mean... I guess we have to. Alright. <laughs> it's a puppy! Hello, puppy! <laughs> Alright. This is where we can trade some stuff, which is interesting. Interesting thought, anyway. How are we on pixels right now? We have 740. So we're quite a ways away from being able to get what we want, but for now. This is the Terramart, and this is the Terramart shipments, uh, shipping container. It's 3 grand or 3,000 pixels, which is something we're gonna want. Ooh, we can make some food, though, apparently, which is good. We can make bread. Let's make some food. Pearl pea risotto. Rice and pearl peas. Handy that. And then bread, which we will make, because we can make a bunch of it. This is not where I was supposed to go. Oops. So, 
that we've made that food. It may sell for a little bit, I'm not sure. What does it sell for? Well, we're gonna sell our pus plums anyway, because I know they'll sell for something. And then the bread and the pearl pea risotto. And our we're gonna keep our canned food. But yeah, there we go. We got 160 pixels just from that. So that's good. We've got our, oh yeah, we should sell our other weapon too, actually. Uh sell. 180 for that, and our old weapon, 132 for that, that's good. We're gonna try and stockpile a bunch of pixels, because we want to get as many, uh, many pixels as we can. Oh, there's a bunch of quests we can do here, too. Like, we could do this one to get a tech thing. Uh, rewards, he gives him a manipulator, we've gotta give him 10 copper bars, we'll accept that quest for now. Um, through here... We're gonna need to get a lot of money really quick. There are a couple different ways to do that, but for now... Let's get over here and talk with the lady that's over here. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Excellent. So you're a protector? Which you guys would have seen if I hadn't skipped the intro video thing. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last after the terrible destruction of Earth. Earth got attacked by tentacle monsters. <laughs> it's sadly inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Esha Bright, retired Grand Protector. I left some years ago, an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. I discover things long forgotten that weigh heavily on the present. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for eons. Or eons, I guess. But that tranquility proved finite. A uh, being ro arose, one of hatred and destruction, it was... Uh, uh, the ruin could not abide life in any form and repeated destruction uh, upon the universe. That's what the being was that arose as the ruin. It fought to blot out all life and could have succeeded if... Uh, but for the sacrifice of the protector. The cultivator, or the cultivator, the cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. Oh my gosh, I can't read today. But in doing so, the cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy it. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you. But I would like your help. The artifacts are, artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruins before the other planets go the way the, of Earth. And that is the story you didn't want to know. <laughs> Holla at Tree School, guys. You guys are awesome. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining me, dear. With your help, I know we can triumph. Yeah, alright. First things first, though. Dear, you need a ship, uh, a ship in a good working order. Or you need a ship in good working order. Who knows how far you will have to travel before you are done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak with Penguin Pete in the shipyard, and the shipyard captain. Yeah, uh, that's to upgrade our ship. And we're going to have to do that either way, so we will continue with the main story for now. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> this is kind of fun to do that. <laughs> Uh, 
jump and smack. Jump and smack. <laughs> There's Penguin Pete. I can repair that ship, but it's gonna take 20 Eurydicus crystals. You better get yourself over to the Eurydicus mining facility. I set the, I've set the location's coordinates for ship's S-A-I-L. Sure. Now we have a mission that we can just teleport to, which is cool. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but we can do it. In the meantime... We should probably work on making some armor, so let's do that now. In order for us to get the- oh, we need food, apparently. Whoopsie. We don't have anything to cook, do we? What did I get? A tech card. Decent. Um, I have one of these. Poof. That refill <laughs> refilled us pretty good. Alright, let's make some armor. So, we want to make... Okay, we're going to need woven fabric for all these, so let's see. Woven fabric. Uh, make it here. Let's make 20 woven rat fabric if I can. I can only make 17 because we need more plant fibers. That's not good. Hopefully that's enough. This is not going to be an easy quest by any means. Uh, and then we need iron bars and string. And string requires plant fibers too, I do believe. Yeah, it does. We're gonna need more plant fibers, guys. Let's head back down to the planet. Let's see about getting some. Oh, excuse me. I see you, monster. I don't care about you, but I see you. Oh, did we search this already? I thought we did. No, we didn't. Oh, it's some darts. That's another weapon for me. Sweet. I will right, we'll toss that. Oh, I guess kind of already equipped anyway. Grab the chest too. We'll mine our way through here. Mostly just because I think that plant matter is you can use it to make plant fibers. I think. We'll see them. Cool. Cool. Ooh, look at that. There's a one of those. Ooh, a tomato. Yeah, boys, it's gonna be nice. We can cook that, I believe. Cook tomato, yeah, sweet. Now we have more food. Should last us a bit. Carry on here. Oh, great. Uh, let's murder this guy as best we can. He's gonna spit acid at us. Ooh, I just narrowly dodged that. <laughs> Hi, jerk. This guy's friendly, but this guy is not. <sighs> Get too close. Well, there's a house here. That's interesting. Could be an NPC. Oh, carrots. That's always nice. Carrots are useful. You can cook carrots. That'll be another food we can use. Let's just keep looking. There's some plant fibers in there and a chest that I would like to get. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, lucky me. We should really make a bow. It would allow us to get some more plant fi or some more meat when we need it. Okay. Oh wow, a teleporter core and some copper wire and a a triple A or double A battery. Sweet. Uh, these guys. Nope. 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 Ah, sure. You guys wait for what's coming. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. I grab this iron because we are gonna go through so much iron ore making armor and stuff. Oh. Iron ore is one of the most useful ores in the game, sadly. Oh, that's less than ideal. So these are some weird trees. It might be good to have access to them. They might give us plant fiber. Which should make them worth cutting down. No, they gave us petals. Hmm. <laughs> well, we can still use it to for something. Oh, that one gave us plant fiber though, so good. Ah, you jerk! Oh, 
You're gonna get it now. Oh, shoot. Screw, screw you, pal. There we go, that taught you a lesson. Let's roast some carrot. Yeah. Alright, so now we found a mine, which is what this place is. Oh, a gun! Our first gun, guys! A handgun. Let's just equip that to... Uh... To here, I guess. And then we'll take the core fragment, because you never know. And some bombs that we can use. The bombs will damage the ground around them. Uh... Oh, it's a decent gun, too, from what I can tell. And another gun, and some more darts, and some iron ore. Wow, this is some pretty good stuff. Um, what is this one like? That's not bad. We should equip it, though, someplace. Um, so we can equip both guns, actually. Right, the final slot here should work. No, nope, I wanted to equip it. Uh, I really hate it when it does that. Equip it there. Thank you. This way, we have a slot with two guns. <laughs> yeah, two guns. There's a quote from DC that you guys... Or from uh, Arcane, Ar Arkham City, the game, that uh, applies to two guns. Just a heads up to all my Arkham City fans. That there are all my Arkham fellow Arkham City fans out there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, no. Ah, shoot. Okay, let's get some energy back. This is why we've got to be careful. Guns don't do much, as you can tell. Alone, anyway. Kill both of those. There's one more to kill down here. I don't know where he, oh, there he is. He healed himself. Great. Okay, we got him, though, so that's good. We should heal, though. Damn. Heal ourselves. We need plant fiber so bad. Oh, look, there's some stuff. Oh, gosh, guys. This is stressful. <laughs> Clap fibers down because we need a whole bunch, if at all possible. Oh, there's an enemy down there. Good thing we've got this. Cool, killed him. Ow. Oh, that is a lot of enemies. Oh, da 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 nope, 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 nope. Come on! Get up there! Oh! Oh! That's a lot of enemies, guys. <laughs> Holy cow! Let's murder them slowly, dang it. While I heal. Like shooting fish in a barrel, they say. <laughs> ha! Eat that, you jerks. <sighs> Hate it when they there's like giant hordes of enemies like that. Especially when they come out like they come out of like nowhere like that one did. <laughs> oh, okay. chunk of playa fibers this time guys we're gonna make sure that we can actually get some armor <laughs> so it'll still take damage but near not nearly as much then Whew. as you can imagine these mines are pretty useful for getting like different ores and stuff from because they're usually in boxes I saw that you jerk <laughs> ow I didn't think you could hit me there should have known that. 
I'll just wait for my energy to recharge, jerk. And then you die. Horribly. As you should. Alright. Oh shoot. Sugar. Go away, damn it. Jeez. Mobs, man. Freaking everywhere. Carry on. Oh, it's a big bo boss mob. Sugar. <laughs> I will hit you with so many darts, friend. So many darts. I will dart you to death. Looks like all he dropped was some core fragments. Gosh dang it. Recharge your energy quicker, pal. Maybe we'll bash these guys from above. Damn! <laughs> that worked pretty good, actually. Ooh, too close. And... That was a mistake. Whoops. Okay, cool. We got him. That was stressful. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, next. That's not bad. Not great, either. Uh, I gotta put the, equip these cells again. all this money that we can, because it's useful. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and, and take all these boxes too, because we can, the wooden ones we can use for storage on our own ship, and the metal ones we can sell. So, yeah, I may as well just grab all this stuff, because <laughs> all this stuff is uh, sellable, so. Case, grabbing the uh, girders or whatever. <laughs> smash, smash. Hmm. Grab each of these. Okay. Yeah, this is dangerous. All right. Well, where's my guns? Recharge the energy. Oh dear. Just one more to go. And now you get murdered. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Too close. Man, I've been recording for a while, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be a big video, I guess. Oh, I just clicked on save and quit by accident. That would have ended badly. Both those, we can storage, grab the doors, because I can sell them or use them either way. Grab the railings, once again, I can sell those, I think. <laughs> I might be able to anyway, if I don't sell them, then I can use them later. Okay. Oh, hello, I thought that was a chest and not an enemy. Hitting me with acid, you jerk. There we go, we got him. Had to be careful, but we got him. It's down here anyway. Anything? Let's see, this just leads deeper into the planet. Okay. Like, deeper into... Uh, Part of it that doesn't matter. Doesn't have anything man made on it. Oh, hello! Let's light up the area, get our weapons out. Man, I am not 
not good at that. <laughs> the whole fighting thing, I'm really not good at it. Alright. <sighs> grab that. Whatever's in there. Grab both boxes. So as I said, we are going to sell what we can. Oh, hello. Enemies. Nope. 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 Oh, shoot. I really hate these bats. They're so hard to hit. They're so tiny. Luring them into this like area filled with stuff, and I know we need plant fibers, and I'm aware that getting plant material might be a good idea, but it'd also take a while to mine it with our current matter manipulator skill, or at least with its power at the moment. So right now I'm just trying to make some money. Place it with a regular torch. <laughs> Need to make more torches. So one second. Okay, I just looted or looked through all of them. They had nothing in them. All right. These empty ones are unusable. I'm gonna grab this tent, campfire, chair, both these crates. This <laughs> is because why not? All right, cool. Oh, our character's hungry, so let's eat again. Should have a bunch of food to eat. Bam, and bam. Got us back to halfway at least. So we can't quite beam back up yet. So less than ideal. We should be close to the surface, though. I'm fairly certain we are. So, let's see. I have some, like, dry sand and stuff we could probably use. What the heck? What's wrong with this thing? Why are you not place when I tell you to place? Mm -hmm. Loose silt, why not? Damn it. <laughs> um, dirt. We can always get more dirt. There we are. Right back up we are. Uh, of course. Leads to a dead end. <laughs> Should've known. Well, we're almost back out, guys. <laughs> Pain in the butt that this is. Man, this episode here. that this took so long, but some things in this game are just tedium incarnate as is. Give me my dang coal, you jerks. Thank you. Gosh. I bet we didn't get a huge amount of plant fibers. We got some. Let's hope it's enough. Right, I never looted these, did I? Okay, let's grab all these and all those. Grab the chair he's sitting on. Grab the chair over here. Campfire. Both tents. <laughs> I think, yeah, there's these over here to grab. <laughs> I love doing that. I love stealing all this stuff. Just because... <laughs> Then the NPC's like, what? What just happened? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so there we go. So with all that stuff, now maybe we can make our freaking uh, armor. Alright, so how much did we need for all the different things? The sprout stuff? Okay. So we need... Iron bars, iron bars and string, and iron bars. Just like a whole bunch of iron bars. How many in total? We need three, five, and two. So five of ten, basically. Alright, that should be no problem. What 
we get this done? We got almost enough just from mining. The mining we did just when we were there. So there's that. Grab two of these. That should be enough, I do believe. The chest guard. It's not a very strong suit of, of armor, but it's better than nothing, guys. It gives us a teeny bit of protection, at least. And we're gonna need something for when we're going into this next area. Because it's going to be a bit dangerous. And with that on, my character's gonna have so many spikes coming off the top of his head, it's gonna look so silly. I love it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Equip all these things. Um, where is the rest? I thought I just made a bunch of clothes. What did they go under? Maybe they didn't go on me. I don't, maybe I didn't finish making them at all. Made the, did I not make the chest? I thought I made the chest guard. I must have not waited for it to complete or some stupid stuff. So apparently I made the helm. So what? Hmm, weird. Well, whatever. We've got some basic armor now. <laughs> and we can equip our normal clothes for vanity purposes, I guess. Bam. Yeah. I have a crown. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's now go do the Uranicus Mining Facility mission. Actually, guys, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm just going to check something. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to make sure I was recording. Missions, Uranicus Mining Facility, deploy. This is a bit of a dangerous mission, but whatever. I will make do, I guess. Come on, let's hurry this up, dang it. There we are. So, in a mission area, guys, you can't destroy any of the surrounding areas. So, like, say I switch to my matter manipulator. See the blue boxes? They won't go away no matter how long I try to destroy the land here. They will never ever disappear, the blocks. So, so we're, while we're here, we're just going to try and loot everything, if there's anything to loot. Ow. Like chests and stuff. It's been so long since I did this mission. Ah, oh, there we go, that lights some areas up. Do, 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 do. Well, there's beds here I can rest in, so I may as well do that. <laughs> do, do, do. Apparently our character's hungry too, so... Let's eat something first. That should allow us to... Oh, I guess it's not enough to fully heal. Pretty dangerous. 
we're gonna need a lot of healing cells, so we may as well make another... Side of that door. You gotta try and kill him as quick as you can. Jump back. Oh gosh. These guys might be able to still get up here too, so we have to be careful. Alright, let's go over here where it might be safer. safe here and just blast these guys from range. Okay. Whew. Alright, see, there's more there that are gonna try and get me. There's some across here, too, I believe. Okay, good. This will open that, so... We need to move quick. One down. Ooh, that's tungsten. <laughs> we got some tungsten ore, it was something we needed to make our, our P, uh, our PD, or PFF, or whatever, you know, that word I can't, or that set of letters I can't remember for whatever reason. But yeah, one of these guys is mutated, I believe, or he mutates or something. Charge energy, these guys are gonna die. Okay, good, I got him. Well, they got him. Iron bars, which are always nice. Okay, we're just gonna loot everything we find. Oh, we found the schematic for the lunar base crate. These things. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. So that now we know how to make those. Gosh, dang it! What's wrong with me today? Oh, that is a lot of enemies. Oh dear, guys, help! Reload, 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 or re refresh your energy, whatever. Ah, sugar. Cool, good job. Glad they finally decided to pull out a gun. Or 
we're just gonna be very careful about this guys because when you're playing alone these guys are particularly dangerous so they can overwhelm you in groups cool getting a good chunk of pixels from this too which is nice oh dear <laughs> alright <laughs> I'm not gonna complain to get some better guns. These ones are just not cutting it. There's an enemy right there. That works. Got him. Good. probably die against the boss at least a couple times, it's just the nature of the boss fight. It's not an easy one by any means. I know there's enemies up there somewhere, it's just where are they? There you are, I knew you were around. Yeah, that's it, get destroyed. Like proper. Okay, so this just links up with where we were before. So let's carry on, actually. Let's turn these lights on. There we go. In case we need to retreat back there so I can see what I'm doing. So there's more of them in here, including a, mute, a couple mutated guys, I think, or something like that, anyway. Yeah, I know you know I'm here, you jerk. Okay. Oof, alright. Awesome. Loot all these things if we can. Oh, a new uh, uh, lunar base blast door. It's a new recipe for us. Cool. And a lunar base bunk, bunk, bunk bed or whatever. Cool. Hmm. Anything up here? There is a pathway up this way. I think I know what this goes to. I don't think it's dangerous. Yeah. We've got. Oh, there's a note here now. I've never seen this note before. This is Lunar, uh, Lunar 12 to Lethia HQ. Come in over. We have an emergency HQ. Uh, we have an emergency HQ. Some kind of monster. Come in HQ. What's going on? HQ, can you hear? Interrupted. This is Lethia Automatic Call Response. Lethia Corporation is aware your situation. Outgoing communications room Lunar Base 12 have now been shut down. We hope you have a nice day. <laughs> Gosh, it's horrible. And then we got a spacesuit. Spacesuit uh, cosmetic, so we'll put that on for now. Because we're gonna be all cool like. And we can get you can get the full set in here if you have the right text. Anyway. And the reading is reach 94 rads. You're in peril. Your peril level is currently 14,000. Sorry about the idea. Sorry about the AI, dude. Something like that anyway. Uh, yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, do I not have any climbing ropes? I should have made some. Let's make 20 climbing ropes if we can. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in that slot that I usually keep them in. Apparently I did have some, I just didn't have them equipped for some reason. Yeah, okay, here we go. Anybody? Okay, there's the infested guy. I messed up once, so we're gonna come back up here. And now we're gonna murder him from way up here where we're nice and safe. Rawr. Yeah, you're right, you can't hit me, jerk. Mm. 
may be time consuming, but it's safer this way. Oh gosh, these guys take forever to kill. We do have this, so maybe we should try that! <laughs> and you get murdered. Ow, oh, apparently you hit me though. Alright. How'd you get down here? The facility's on a lockdown. Guess I'm just that good, lady. That's full. That. This is a checkpoint. So now that we're here, oh, we got the lunar base chair as well. Cool. So yeah, now that we have uh, that's rotating, that means we can respawn here as opposed to all the way at the surface of this mission if we should die. Which we will, quite frankly. frankly. <laughs> quite frequently. There's more infested people now. Now they're kind of a common enemy, which makes them dangerous. Uh, yeah! Okay, whoa, yeah, he's still there. Okay, <laughs> I thought he would be dead after that, but I guess not. Okay, I can hit him a couple times with that, maybe. Okay, super dangerous. Ah, uh, that's not so good. Ah, dang it. Okay. Oh, that was less than ideal. Ooh, hello. I didn't know he could jump there. <laughs> Should've known since I can jump there. Okay, I can hit them both with the explosion anyway. Ow, oh, jeepers. Out of energy already. This is less than ideal. Ooh, dear. Trying to be careful here, guys. It's pretty difficult. Oh, oh I, missed. I missed entirely. Ooh. Okay, I hit a couple of them there. We're gonna try and kill these guys as best we can without taking too much damage. But you know how it is. Oh, jeepers. You big jerk! That should have killed him. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what's up here. Anything interesting? Yeah, there's another chest. And there's the backpack. Uh, like, uh, it's basically like the backpack part of the cosmetic set. And another codex looks like. This facility has been put into full lockdown in accordance with procedural alpha, uh, alpha 1A awakening. An Arenicus life form has been awakened in your facility. We ask that employees remain calm. Letters be sent to your families, thanking them for your services. The, we hope that uh, we hope you have a nice day. The Lethia Corporation. Wow, oh, bunch of jerks. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Sorry if the music's getting annoying, guys. I know it can be repetitive. It's just because we're slowly going through this area. Trying to not rush. Okay, so what's over here now? What is waiting to destroy? Nothing. Okay, good, good, good. So, I think we're heading down to the boss fight now, which is really annoying. I despise this boss fight. Because it's not even so much a boss fight as much... Oh, I just died. Uh, so did we drop all our stuff? Or oh, I guess we don't drop stuff in missions. So that's really good. Of course, all the enemies are back now. So as you can imagine, that's going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'll try and speed it up, guys. To the best I can. Where are they? Or maybe they're not. Hmm. I thought that we dropped everything when we died on uh, survival. I must be losing it. That or I misread something. Made it down to the boss fight. This is a boss door. And then, okay, alright, alright. Do some squats for power. Let's do this. We gotta move, move quickly. Ow, oh, shoot, you guys will see why in a second. Oh, I can't run, that's right. Oh, sugar. That's not good. That's not good. Not good at all. 
Oh dear. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Bam, hit him once. Okay, do this again. You gotta do that basically like four or five times. While avoiding laser beams of death. Oh gosh, you jerk. Where's my healing items? We just gotta be super careful now. Super, super, super careful now. Just take our time, nice and slow. There's no humongous rush. Okay. See, now it starts spawning in enemies for us to fight, which is fine. I've just got to hit these buttons. Oh gosh, never mind. Maybe it's not fine. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought I could make it there. I guess not. Hate this boss, hate this boss, hate this boss, hate this boss. Okay. He's gonna it's gonna start coming back now, that laser beam. Okay. I'm just gonna have to be super careful. Yes, yes, yes. So he's gonna spawn it in another enemy. Which sucks, but whatever. Okay. Ow, 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 ow! Ah, I need to heal. Need to heal, need to heal. Need to heal, hit the buttons, 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 hit the buttons. Hit the buttons. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> too close, too close. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. Just gotta keep moving guys, Just keep freaking moving. Ow, that was some dumb damage to take. Ah, sugar and spice. Okay, we can do this. I believe we can do this guys, I believe in us. Reload quicker, please. Ah, of course. 300 million years later. Just murder that! Thank you. Alright, I need to get down there. Get over there. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Bam! Yeah, we got him. And this is the source of it all. This jerk right here and the Irenicus eye. This is, this is, this is. You saved me. I thought I was a drone, or I was done for when I was covered in that stuff. Yeah. Maybe next time you could try not being stupid, you jerk. Okay. So we got the eye. It's a unique weapon, apparently. Oh, I didn't know this was a weapon. Interesting. Cool. I've never seen this before. Must be a new thing now. Okay, well, let's equip that as a weapon, then. Cool, so we have ourselves a weapon. Huh, there's apparently some codex stuff too. The Arenicus Horror. We are calling it the Arenicus Horror. We have been trapped down here with it since the facility went into lockdown. And believe me, horror describes its nature perfectly. We found it in a deep vein of Arenicus Crystal. And upon uncovering the thing, it awoke. At first, we thought it was sentient, a sentient crystal. But a desperate attack with a mining laser cannon uncovered a single unblinking eye within. Yep. Cool. And we got a gun! Two-handed assault rifle. Decent. New handgun for me, yes. And a spear. Let's try out our new spear. Oh, it's the flame sp wheel spear thing or whatever. So which does more? Does our current spear do more? Or, or the, the spear in our 15.4? Or does our big hammer from before do more? No, they do the same. I'd prefer the spear, though, because the spear is more targeted strikes and doesn't take as long to charge up. Cool. So now we have a new weapon, though. How much does this sucker do, anyway? Uh, doesn't say. Hmm. I've never had this before. It's super cool, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying this guy out. All the times I've done that quest, I've never gotten the side drop. That's interesting. I 
I like that it kind of skirts across the ground when you fire it. That's interesting. Let's go visit Escher. Or no, the captain actually. Here you go, captain. Perfect, these will do the job. I'll go ahead and fix up your ship right now. Cool. Repairing the FDL drive. <laughs> so I just take out a bold crystal and replace it. This is this. Well, there we are. Now we go talk to Escher. All will fall before my mighty eyeball. My mighty eyeball laser. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just playing with it now because I've never gotten this gun before. It's pretty cool. It probably doesn't do much damage. I'd imagine it's pretty weak. I'd imagine it's probably mostly for cosmetic uses. But who knows? Yo, Asher, what up? Give me that fat, fat loot. Before you go jetting off, I'll teach you how to access and use the scan mode in your matter manipulator. There's a lot to be learned from your surroundings, and the outpost is no exception. Press N to equip the scanner. Uh, uh, keys, uh, press the N to equip your scanner. Key areas of interest will appear in green. Let me know how you get in. Get on. Okay, so now we have a quest to scan all the stuff in the outpost, which we can do later. <laughs> okay. Let's head back to the ship, and I may end this episode here, guys. Sorry we didn't get to the part where we can make all the monies, but uh, I honestly didn't think it would take me this long. I guess it will long. Um, but thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this type of content, or if you like this type of video, consider leaving a like. It would help me out a great deal. If you uh, want to see more Starbound, like a proper Let's Play of it, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know. Um, and as always, everybody, if you want to really support me, consider subscribing. That's the best way for me to be able to keep making good content. Uh, anyways, guys, this is Nox saying, as always, take care.